Who were the best and worst giants of wrestling other than Andre? Uh, let me see. Ernie Ladd. Ernie Ladd was probably, he was 6'10", 6'11", uh, great football player, great talker. You know, we were talking about people being socially active. Ernie was a talker, so you liked Ernie. And I used to ride with him a lot. We were booked in Florida. Ernie was one of the most, I mean, knowledgeable men I've ever met. And he taught me a lot of things that I was kind of interested in learning. And he told me a lot of football stories. And, and this is a side, this is a side to your question. I first heard of Ernie Ladd when they had the, the Super Bowl three. I don't know what they called it then. But Ernie Ladd, he played professional football. And they interviewed him on a New York station. It was network. But he wasn't talking about the football game coming up. He had started wrestling, and he was wrestling Bruno in the garden. In the garden. And the guy kept, he kept talking about when I get Bruno in the garden, Bruno when I get. See, he was doing an interview about a wrestling match. The guy wanted to do an interview about football. But Ernie wouldn't leave wrestling alone. That's when I first saw Ernie Ladd talking about a match with Bruno San Martino in the garden. And I never forgot that I was 16 years old when I heard that. Never forgot it. So was he but Ernie Ladd was probably the best big guy. Was that just purely uh, just talking? You could just talk him in, in, into the arenas. Was that why he was great, or was he just a great ta oh, yeah. tactician, uh, technician, excuse me, as well? You know, both, he, both. He could talk yeah. him in. He was big. He had a history. People knew who he was. And uh, great guy. Great guy. And who was the worst apart from, well, Silo Sam. I mean, he's probably the worst ever, but uh, who else? Uh, might Plowboy for. Probably Plowboy Frazier. <laughs> it was horrible. God.